All right, everybody. This is the uh, basically a part three review of the NPC, the NPK 261 249 um, keyboard from Akai. Uh, all right, so check it out. First, let me get this. Let me let everybody know that I'm not returning the NPK. I'm sticking with the, you know, I'm sticking with Akai. Um, I already had the machine. Um, I got the, you know. I'm sticking with a Kai. I'm sticking with a Kai. You know, what I'm saying they, they saying that it's gonna be in a in an update. The, the things that I'm about to mention, it's gonna be an update, but you know we have yet to see. A Kai put out some review, a written review. Um, it had just still photos. Um, I have yet to see a video from a Kai showing the MPK working with anything. Um, you, you know, I, I wish they would put up a video showing it working with the MPC Essential. And you'll see um, that it's main. It's ninety, basically ninety-five percent, ninety-eight, probably ninety-eight percent controlled by the you know your mouse. Um, and it comes with the preset of the MPC Essential software. So why I have no clue. All right. So here go things. Here goes some a quick rundown of you know. Somebody said you know try. Somebody said oh you have to use the MPC Essential in thirty-two bit mode. I tried that. It doesn't doesn't change anything the control still stays the same but this is one thing I want to show everybody also um, you know all my settings are correct there's nothing mistake I have everything correct um, you know I changed the MMC the, the, the um, clock so everything is everything is set right so I, I didn't do anything wrong but this is one thing that I'm going to show you guys also alright so check it out alright so um, you know like like I said before, the record, the play, the stop works. Rewind, fast forward, they do not work. Um, the faders don't work, the knobs don't work. In, in, inside of NPC Central, I'm talking about. Um, now, right now, I want you to see something real quick. Uh, this note repeat. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna click, let me put on, I'm gonna put on full level. All right, so this is note repeat. All right, <coughs> note repeat. And then you can change it over here. You know, if you want to play around with it. All right, but right now, I'm, I have it, it, it in the in the booklet and in the um, instructions on their site. They say go to now. This is a setting that it tells me to do. It says go to global. Um, go over to where it says um, clock source, and change it from internal to external. So now, if I change it from internal to external, which I'm about to do now. All right, I just did that. Now I'm gonna go save it. It says saving global. All right, so now I'm done saving global. Once I save that global, like they are telling me to save it, nothing. It doesn't work. My tap tempo stops. It doesn't work any. It, well, that doesn't work on the NPC Essential anyway. But you know, <coughs> look, it's working now. As soon as I hit note repeat, nothing. Doesn't even show that show me that I'm hitting the pads. So why are they telling me to put it in? external but when I hit play if I hit play you know if I hit record to play it'll work now why is that uh, then I gotta use my mouse to hit undo because there's no undo button so I gotta use my mouse back to the mouse again so so it I cannot play it like this you cannot you know it, I don't. I don't understand why they telling me to put it in in external. I, in order to hear any sound, I got to take the note repeat off. I can't do it with the note repeat on. As soon as I put on note repeat, that's it. Nothing. You're not gonna hear anything. So I have no clue why that is. No matter what I do, nothing's gonna play until I take this note repeat off. So that needs to be addressed. Why am I not hearing no sounds just because I press note repeat? That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, the full level works. The full level works. Now this is another thing. All right, so check it out. All right, so in MPC Central. So here goes. I'm gonna just make something real quick.
All right, so why doesn't it show what pad I hit? If I have a whole bunch of things going on here, I'm not gonna know what pad it was that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna know. I'm gonna be sitting here all day trying to figure out. Oh, why isn't it sending signal back to the to the um, MPK to let me know what thing I hit and why? I don't understand why when I change. All right, so all right, so you see how everything is white right now. If I come out of that and put it on, now I just switched it over to um, Ableton Live. Now I'm gonna switch it back to the MPC Essential. Now, all right, this is the default MPC Essential um, color scheme. You know, that's the color scheme. As soon as I, like, whenever, it's like, it changes back to, oh, now I gotta go back to, to the settings, change this back to MMC. I don't even know why that came out of MMC. Um, go to extra, it's on, still on external. Go to global. Now watch what it does. Save global. Hit enter. All right. Let's see. All right, everything's fine. Project. Don't save this one, and let's load up. Let's load up new a new set of. Now watch what it does when it turns back on. Now why are they white? I don't understand why they go back. Why are they all white now? I don't understand why they go back white and not stay like it is. You know the pad banks work. Um, you know the pad banks work right here. Now all the pad banks just stay white. First they were colored, now they just back, you know, white. I don't understand that. I, I have no clue why, you know, why it does that. Um, go back to, to the A. You know, I don't know. Let them, but Akai needs to do a video of showing, of showing how this machine works, how it, well, how it can work with the MPC Essential software, uh, because it, it really doesn't and if you really want to, you know and why would they have me I, I got to turn it back to you know for me to hear what I'm about to do I got to turn I got to turn that back to internal turn it back to internal then save it you know then save the global and this is like like you know like oh it's not I mean, I guess I'm frustrated about it, but you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I really want them to, you know, to get, I really, I don't want to return it and then, you know, I mean, then next thing you know, they come out with the, the update for it and it fixes everything. Um, I'm just addressing everything. I'm just letting Akai know, listen, if you're going to, you know, if you're going to put this in the NPC, um, you know, you're going to put Essential in the, in the NPK bundle. You know, you're gonna put your own software in there. At least let it work with your own software. Now, I've tried it. With, I tried this with Ableton, um, Ableton Live um, Nine, and it it works fine. Except for you know, there's a lot of stuff that still doesn't work. The tap tempo doesn't change the tap tempo in Ableton. Um, I couldn't even I couldn't even uh, map it out. So I, I I mean I'm not I don't use Ableton like that to know how to even you know to to go through the mapping out um, process for it. Uh, but I, you know, I played around with it and I still couldn't get it to work. So, you know, if somebody else has the MPK 249 or 261 and they use Ableton, you know, please, you know, post up a video if you see this video to, you know, to address what I'm, what I'm talking about or whatever. But there's just a lot of things that just doesn't make any sense that they did. And, and somebody said, in, you know, another half-baked you know, products from a car, and, you know, and I kind of agree with that, as far as, as far as the connect, the connectivity between the MPK and the, the, M, the, uh, the M, and the, um, essential software that it comes with, which is their own software, there's a lack of communication there, which it, it really shouldn't be, you know, I should, like I said, I should be able to, move, you know, put these faders wherever I want it. If I want it, you know, for the tracks, you know, um, I should be able to use these knobs right up here 
for the um, Q links. Um, I should be able to have a fast forward and rewind. I should be able to have a, 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 um, a was it a overdub and a, um, a play start button. Um, I should be able to click and assign these knobs to whatever I want it to to do on this on the MPC Center software. I should have a knob for undo in case I make a mistake. I don't have to go to the mouse. Um, when I do a sample, I should be able to you know these knobs should turn into my adjustments for you know chopping up my samples. Uh, you know just the simple stuff that it should do. Um, it should do like. I really think that almost, you know, like the MP, the um, the M audio key station that I had with no buttons on it was, you know, as far as, you know, functionality, it basically functioned the same, you know, and my goal is, you know, I want, the thing is that I want to take my, I want to take my MPC, I want to take my MPC studio and I want to move to, I want to, I want to put it in a different location. So I want to I want to have my Renaissance in a location. I want to have my studio, um, the MPC studio in a different location, and then I want to have my MPK in a location that I might not have a lot of space, and I just might have this in a laptop, you know, something small, you know, without having an MPC, a keyboard, I could just have this, and I want to be able to integrate it with their software. I want to be able to be. You know, at the studio, make a beat, come home, you know, finish that beat, whether I'm here, I could be downstairs, I could be, you know, I could bring this to a friend's house and, you know, with my laptop or, you know, without bringing it, you know, everything, just, just convenience of having this all in one is great, but now they just have to fix the software so I don't have to be using a mouse 99% of the time when I'm making a beat. I like to focus on this right here. You know what I'm saying? I like to get down and boogie with this right here. And when I got the Ren, I like to sit down with the Ren and, and go to work. When I got the studio, same thing. I just want to focus on that. I don't want to be computer, computer. I don't want to be doing that. I just want to bring right here. Undo, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, te tempo. Um, you know, I just want to be able to do those things. And it's not letting me do that. Um, so that's basically it. Uh, you know, like I said, Ableton... It, it worked. It worked pretty good in Ableton Live. Um, except, you know, tap Timbo didn't work. But if somebody knows how to, you know, do that, adjust everything, just let me know. All right, I'm out. Please uh, leave a comment. Um, like I said, the 32-bit mode didn't work. 64-bit um, mode, same thing. You know, um, the 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 setting that they tell you to do it, um, put it on global. You can walk, You can go check this out too. They say put it on global. Um, then go to you know go to um source um clock source turn it to external as soon as you do that you see the tap tempo stops you know then you then they say go over to save global save global after that's done saving then you go and you know no tap tempo tap tempo doesn't work there doesn't change it but it does change it when you if you if you tap in it and you go to where the um to edit it shows that you did tap tempo like it's showing it's show, I'm watching it right now adjust the tap tempo but it's not adjusting it here and and also like we were like I was saying before take it off when when I do this that this pad should light up saying that I'm hitting that pad that I hit that that's the pad that that's on but it doesn't there's no undo button, so I gotta keep. I gotta go back to the mouse again. Um, you know, simple stuff. Akai, please address this. Please put out a video, um, and please do a real review, um, or have somebody do a real review of the MPK 261. Or you know, uh, I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, to me, it's like with with the commercials that you had, like the advertisement for it. It was just like the trick. It was like a trick. To trick everybody, you never seen nobody. You never seen them playing with it. You never really seen anybody doing anything to it, um, besides sitting there looking at it. And tell me why my pads are white when the default. It, it seems like the default for it is 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 the color. It, you know, I don't understand why does it go back. Why does it go back to that? And then I then I gotta see. As soon as I do that and go back, I don't know why it keeps coming out of. It keeps coming out of that MMC.
That doesn't make any sense. You know, that doesn't make any sense. And now, all right, now check this out. I just recorded that, right? I just recorded that. And now, say if I wanted to add that drum to it. If I hit record and play, it's going to erase what I did already. It's going to erase that because there's no overdub. Watch. Why? Why did it erase the first part that it started at? I don't understand. And, and where is that? Watch this. Now, um, now I'm gonna, This is the same track. I'm gonna add that. Watch it erase. It's gonna erase. Whoa. Now right, here it goes. Watch it erase. I'm gonna add that. It's gonna start erasing. It erased it. There's no overdub. You can't overdub. The only time it overdubs is, is after it does that four bar count in. And, it, and, and after it's done with that, the, the, it, why is it doing that? Why can't I hit overdub? You know why? Because I got to use my mouse and go to the, come on. Address these issues, man. Please do a video. Show us how to work this thing. Show us how to connect it. Show us how to work with the NPC central software without using the mouse as little as possible. Thank you.